Okay, Greg Pickle, we met the new Penn State offensive coordinator yeah, today. Joe Moorhead, formerly the Fordham head coach, yep. appeared on Wednesday afternoon in lovely State College, Beaver Stadium media room with James Franklin, a joint press conference, I guess you could call it. Uh, he succeeds John Donovan. Yep. And what was one or two things that jumped out to you about the new offensive coordinator at Penn State? Yeah, I think the first thing that jumped out to me with Joe Moorhead is that he obviously wanted this job. You know, I think there's a lot of people that wanted it, and his family really wanted to be at Penn State as well. They're from Pittsburgh, gets them closer to home. Right. So I think that, you know, there's a lot of good things that are related to that, both recruiting and off the field. And then on the field, he has a vision. You know, his offense goes all the way back to Walt Harris at Pittsburgh. He clearly has an idea of what he wants to do with some West Coast elements. That James Franklin also yeah. talked about, so I think it makes a lot of sense after listening to him speak. Wait, so you're telling me now there's going to be a Pittsburgh Panthers influence <laughs> at Penn State's That's offense moving forward. Do That's you get that, fans? Here's a question, Greg, that I got a lot this week, so I'm going to put Penn State's fans, maybe their mind's not at ease, but everyone wants to know, is this guy going to be the uh, coach in the bowl game? What's the offense going to look like? He made it sound pretty strongly like yeah. he's not going to have anything to do with uh, game plan installation or coaching. He said it wouldn't be really fair to the staff. He hasn't really had a chance to evaluate the talent. Yeah. He's going to be doing that for the next month or so and then spring forward in 2016. Also, I thought, Greg, it was interesting, um, you know, w what was the connection between James uh, and Coach Moorhead that got it started? He mentioned a couple of things. Um, Coach Moorhead knows Terry Smith, yep. and he also knows Bob Shoup, a couple of Pittsburgh guys. I think that helped jumpstart the conversation. James also talked about the need to study the data. Yep. And on the FCS level at Fordham, Joe Moorhead really did some wonders with the spread offense. I thought that was significant. Also, it was interesting to note that last year, Pinstripe Bowl, uh, you know, when Penn State beat Boston College, uh, Penn State practiced at Fordham. Yep. And, it, and it sounds like James and Joe Moore had had some discussions there. It sounded to me, James Franklin said they had about 49,000 conversations, <laughs> either on the phone, texting, or in person. Yep. And he also talked about one that he had in person that was supposed to start at 6 o'clock, yep. and it didn't end until like 3 o'clock in the morning because it didn't start till 10. Yeah. Four hours of talking football. I think James Franklin uh, scouted this guy pretty thoroughly. Yeah, I think so as well. And I think it works the other way as well. I think Joe Moorhead got whatever assurances he needed, obviously moving from head coach to assistant coach. Yeah. It's a little bit of a change. So I think they both got what they wanted out of that conversation and they're comfortable with each other. They know, you know, now they know they went through pass game, yeah. run game, all that stuff. They know what each other wants to do. They are seem apparently, as so they say, to be on the same page. That's only going to help going forward. We didn't get to learn exactly how James is going to be involved with the yeah. offense. That's one thing that we heard him and John Donovan, you know, James said quite frequently he was very involved with the offense. Is that still going to be the case? We don't know yet, but clearly Joe Moorhead's a guy that is a very pretty strong personality and, and right man for the job. A couple of points real quick. James Franklin hasn't decided who's going to coach the tight ends yet. I don't think it's going to be Joe Moorhead. I no. think he's going to reassign that dude to somebody else. Yep. Also, I thought it was a little telling and maybe it was just a, a slip of the tongue. James Franklin said he felt that wide out yep. and running back yep. were the strength positions for the offense. And I think he also said that they like three quarterbacks here yeah. at Penn State. Now, the last I checked, there are four quarterbacks at Penn State. Christian Hackenberg, Trace McSorley, Tommy Stevens, and Jeg Zembeck just enrolled. So maybe he, that was an oversight, but the fact he talked about the wideouts and the running backs before the quarterback, I'm just wondering if maybe they're, they're kind of planning for moving on from Christian Hackenberg.